everyone, I'm back with another Dragon Slayer Diana cosplay vlog. So, sorry for the lack of intro video, you'll just have to put up with me kind of showing you the up-to-date versions of all the armor pieces. So on this vlog, I'm going over kind of what I did through week 3 through 5, which is a lot. I'm doing the bracers and the leg armor. So we'll start with the bracers first, and I went with... Uh, Kamui cosplays one of her bracer patterns as a template and then I'm kind of going to work off of that. So I feel like all of this is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to cut your paper out first, cut your pattern out, making sure that when you do it on foam you cut the appropriate angles at 45 degrees. So for the first detailing part, I'm going to trace just the base starting at that top notch. And on her bracers, Diana has two raised parts that are, I don't really know how to describe how they look, but you can see how I'm drawing the design. And I'm just going to try and mimic that to get the look I need, and I'll be making the second one a bit smaller. Uh, the main thing here is that line where the outside parts connect to the inside part needs to really be at a very sharp 45 degree angle to get that bend that Diana's has. So here you can see I've made my smaller versions and just like with the bigger versions I had like two of each piece cut. So now I'm doing the odd like flange type part that's coming up and mine's about 8 inches long. I just measured it based off the bracer to see where I liked it and I'm going to be making the general shape of the two, I guess I'd call them flanges that are coming up off of the bracers. So. I got my pattern, I'm pretty much just gonna cut it out and transfer it over to foam. And you'll need four of each piece, the big one and the small one. And they need to be separate too. So here they are. 
And same thing, the tops need to be cut at a 45 degree angle because this will be like a triangle, triangular shape. I feel like you guys kind of know the steps going along here. So I've gotten them glued. To get, to keep the top part not flat on it, what I'm doing is I'm just gluing the edges um, and the bottom, but making sure it's not flat to it. So I'm like just pinching it. It's really hard to describe that, but that's why I drew my lines first of where I'm putting my glue so that I knew it wasn't just going to lie flat. Because if you don't, you could end up just with flats, flanges, and that would look boring. So kind of the same thing goes with the bracers so that the big one doesn't just go flat on it. I just want to catch the corners and the front root glue. And contact cement is so strong that if you do it appropriately, it'll stick. And just like that. Ta-da! No, but we're not over yet. So I filled in some of the cracks with foam clay, but now I'm also going to do a bunch of the details. So this was really just dressing because the only picture that shows all these details is that splash art. And if you look at in-game, there's nowhere near as many details for obvious reasons because of graphics. But like I said, I, I love the splash art version and I love all that detail work and I kind of like doing it. So basically I've just drawn with the pencil kind of where these weird details are based off of the splash art and the best I could see from it. And I think it's just meant to kind of give it an extra like almost vein type look to the flanges. I, I don't know, it's very weird looking but they're like very pointy pieces coming down off of the flange pieces onto the main bracer. I do apologize if using the word flange is cringing. <laughs> so basically I'm just using my my favorite, favorite thing ever which is foam clay and I'm rolling it into little like sausages and just putting it in place with a little help of water and then when I like where it is I get both my fingers with some water on it and just go along it to give it a more ridge along the edge of it, which I really like that look. You do have to be careful, you can't use too much water with very fresh foam clay, which is exactly what I'm using, is very fresh foam clay, because I just bought a new tub, um, so you just gotta be careful. The other part that I am adding on to is, I wanted to give a real, very thin ridge along my flanges. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm using that word wrong. <laughs> Alright, um, this will pretty much be the bracers done, other than when we get to priming and painting them, but it, it, they were a lot of work. <laughs> oh no, there is one more thing I have to do to bracers. Uh, the parts near the hands, those the three-dimensional, I don't know what shape they are, diamond things. Um, I'll be adding a slight ridge onto the edges of those that will end up getting painted gold. And that is also kind of based off the splash art, but even in game she does have that. So, and here I go making them. I could have done what I did with some of the leg armor, which was just make, um, uh, what do you call those pieces? I'm uh, basically making it with foam, uh, regular foam, but. I felt like hitting all those weird angles would have been super hard and it would just be so much easier to do foam clay. And I'm not in any rush on dry time right now, so I can sit and dry for a week. <laughs> so once I get these braces done, we'll jump right into doing the leg armor.
that we're covering a lot this video. So yeah, then we're on to the leg armor and I'll start with uh, going from top to bottom with the thigh protector. Just like the bracers, I'm using uh, Kamui's thigh protector base, but I'm going to be modifying it because well, I pretty much modify all of her patterns that I use. So if you look at Diana's, it has these weird points on her thigh protector thingies. Blech. So one side, ha the outside has to have the point and then the inside is just a bit of a swoop. So I just had two separate lines. I actually cut the outside pattern first because it was more to it than the inside. And yeah, that's how it came out. I'm just gonna glue it. You kinda get that by this point. <laughs> Here's how they turned out and I'll end up adding a ridge later with foam. It's really simple. And same thing with the knee using Kamui simple knee pattern. But I'm adding like points to it. because that's pretty much what Diana's looks like. You'll need four of those because you have two knees. <laughs> Who would have thought you had two knees? I mean, I guess not everybody has two knees, but you won't have more than two knees, that's for sure. Ta-da! And uh, do remember when you're cutting all of those seam parts that you're doing that 45 degree angle. And here's how they turned out. Um, what I did not film is later on I actually did foam clay for the edging of that gold thing because just like with the bracers, that weird pointy part would have been just way too hard to go around with foam. So I don't have too much to say about this. I used the turd tight leg pattern, cut off the top, and that's going to be it for that part. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you up next time.